Viewers, another interesting development which has come in the most latest development. Now, Hamas has released a video and it shows three women being held hostage. We'll play the video for you on the screens very shortly. The women were demanding the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, to agree to a prisoner exchange in all order for all captives to be released. Reacting to the video, Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, called it cruel psychological propaganda. Take a look at this. Now, in the 72nd, 76 second video, here are the three women. They are referred to as Zionist detainees. They are seated on plastic chairs against a white tile wall. It was not immediately possible to verify their identities. And in the video, one of the women speaking in Hebrew urged Israel's Prime Minister to agree to a prisoner exchange with Hamas. Now, we are not showing the faces of the hostages on purpose and have blurred the video as we do not want them to become pawns in this war. Now, some family members of Israelis being held hostage in Gaza said that a video released by Hamas on the same day made them hopeful that their loved ones were still alive. It feels good to, to know that some of them are okay. Um, I don't, I can't say what this video means, uh, but, but to see that uh, there's a chance that our beloved people they are alive, uh, it, it does, does feel good. Uh, my aunt also were kidnapped to Gaza and we, uh, we wait for her to, to come back. Uh, it gives us a lot of hope to see that they're still alive. Um, we haven't given up on them yet. We know they're alive and we're going to do anything we can to bring them back. We're not going to stop until, until we have a definite answer. Either here or there, we're going to keep fighting until they're back home. And until there's peace between the people, we're not going to stop. We don't have any other choice than to live in peace. Now, to repeat what happened on the 7th of October, the hostages were seized when hundreds of Hamas gunmen stormed across the border into southern Israel and attacked kibbutz communities, towns and military bases. Authorities believe they are being held in a giant network of underground tunnels built by Hamas in the besieged territory. Now, facing growing domestic pressure over the hostages, Defence Minister Yoav Gallant accused Hamas militants of playing psychological games over the hostages' fate.